you know, Islam is more logical religion than uh, how to say Christianity. Than other religions. Yes. He, I think it's very logical what he said, how he proves that Hazrat is or not a, go a god and uh, why people shouldn't believe that he is a god. Zakir Naik Naik Baad Kahi Thi Ki Musliman Agar Hazrat Isa Zee Mohabbat Ki Baad Ki Jai Toh Musliman Christian Se Zyada Christian Zee Agar Christian Hona Hazrat Isa Alayhi Salaam Se Mohabbat Karna Toh Musliman Christian Se Zyada Christian Zee Zira Astwiti Minyan Zabut Ali Assalamu Alaikum Mai Palina Khair Welcome to our channel Let's go Let's go Okay, Ali, what we are going to do today? Today, I have selected a video of Zakir Naik. I have selected a video of Zakir Naik. There is a woman and she is going to ask about uh, Jesus, hmm. Hazrat Isa. So, without wasting our time, I think we should go towards the video. Yes. And But there is a very important thing before going to video. Da, please subscribe our channel. Put like under our video and also click this bell notification. बहुत से लोग ऐसे हैं जो के हमारी वीडियो देखते हैं, उनको अच्छी लगती है, वो ज़्यादा देखते हैं, लेकिन वो लाइक नहीं प्रेस करते, और बहुत से लोग ऐसे हैं जो के सब्सक्राइब करते हैं, लेकिन बेल नोटिफिकेशन बटन ऑन नहीं करते, तो प्लीज हमें सपोर्ट करें, लाइक करें, और बेल नो Good evening, Dr. Zakir Naik. Um, this is Mary. Uh, I'm a Christian and a banker by profession. Uh, my question uh, for you is based on your statement that uh, nowhere in the Bible it's mentioned that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And uh, based on my knowledge and understanding of Bible, I have picked up two verses to quote, and uh, I would like to only your clarification in the light of Islam. The first one is Matthew chapter 3, verse number 17. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. The second is John chapter 3, verse number 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. So whosoever Shall believe, believe in him. Shall not die, but have everlasting life. That's right. <laughs> Sister, just to correct your statement, you made a question saying that I said that nowhere in the Bible it says that Jesus is Son of God. I never said that nowhere in the Bible is it mentioned that Jesus is Son of God. I said. There is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible. There is not a single unambiguous statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or ways is worship me. I never said the Bible does not say Jesus is son of God. What I said, there is not a single unambiguous statement. Not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or ways is worship me. If you point out any such two statements, I'm ready to accept Christianity. If your question assumes that Son of God means Jesus is God, very well, I'll reply to your question. Many Christians think that just by the statement Son of God means Jesus is God. Sister, do you know in the Bible, Adam is Son of God? Ephraim is son of God, Israel is son of God. God has got sons by the tons in the Bible. That means you haven't read your Bible, sister. So do you mean to say all of them are gods? Is Adam God? Is Ephraim God? Is Israel God? No. Son of God, sister, is a statement used if you read Romans chapter number 8, verse number 14. All those that are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. Means if you follow the commandment of God, if I follow the commandment of God, I am a son of God. In this way, undoubtedly, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, verily, is the most beloved son of God. Meaning, he is following the commandment of God. I have got no problem at all. If you say, son of God means persons who follow the commandments of God, like it's mentioned in Romans, 
all those who are led by the spirit of god they are sons of god if i follow the commandment of god you follow the command of god, we are called children of god very innocent statement no problem so as far as your matthew is concerned 317 have clarified now coming to your second quotation of gospel of john chapter 3 verse number 16 but what the christian missionary say no 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 brother zakir Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is not a normal son. He is the begotten son of God. And they quote, Gospel of John, chapter number 3, verse number 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believeth in him shall not die, but have everlasting life. Sister, simple question. What is the meaning of the word begotten? He has given it. No, what is the meaning of begotten? He has it's, given his son to the people. No, no, sister. Begotten doesn't mean he's given his son. You know English, I know English. Your English is, mashallah, very good. Begotten doesn't mean he's given his son. If I say you have begotten uh, a son. Not, uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Don't I'm give metaphorical meaning. I'm English. Not a scholar. I, I'm You're not very, a scholar, but your English layman, is very good. I'm a layman person. And but sister, your uh, English I, I is very good. If I say you have begotten a son, what does it mean? That means you have had sexual relationship with your husband, and you begot a son. Begetting is a function of lower animals of sex. How can I attribute this function to Almighty God? Who did God have sex with? Who? That's the reason the scholars of Christianity, if you read the Revised Standard Edition, Revised Standard Version of the Bible, revised by 32 scholars, Christian scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different corporate denominations, they say this word begotten in Gospel of John, chapter number 3, verse number 16, is an interpolation, is a fabrication, is a concoction, and they're thrown out of the Bible. So if you read the Bible, if you read the Revised Standard Version, it is the best seller in the world. Revised Standard Version revised by not Muslims, not Hindus, 32 Christian scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different corporate denominations, they say this word begotten is not present in the original manuscript of Gospel of John chapter 3 verse 16. What they say, it's an interpolation, it's a fabrication, it's a concoction, it's an adulteration. So, so Jesus is just like a son, like a Adam a son of God, Ephraim a son of God, Israel a son of God, he's a prophet of God. So I've got no problem in accepting that verily Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a prophet and a messenger of God, but he was not God. Hope that answers the question, sister. So now, sister. Thank you very much, Dr. Sister, Dr. can we reverse the role now? Yes, I definitely. said I was ready to accept Christianity if you proved this was God. Would you accept Islam now? Would what, you agree that I, Jesus is a prophet of God? I have still a few more things to clarify. You're most welcome, sister. Why, why do Muslims refrain from the statement, son of God? Why? Yes. If I answer the question, will you accept Islam? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not a compulsion. I, I think we have a huge population of Muslims in the world. We, we yes. need believers. We do not need only Muslims by name. Yes, so we want Muslim by deed. So we want to become Muslim by deed, not by name. Sister, okay, coming to your question, that why do Muslims refrain from using son of God as a free? Very good question. And that's the reason, sister, if you read the Quran, Quran has got 99 attributes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Al-Hakim, most gracious, most merciful, most wise. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his last and final revelation, if there's something like Old Testament and New Testament, Quran is the last testament. In his last testament, he has not used the word ab. In Arabic, ab means father. Why? He has used the more difficult word, rab. Rab is more difficult to pronounce than up, which means the Lord, the cherisher, the sustainer. He has used rab as attribute, but not up. Why? Because in the previous revelations, previous revelation which were changed, Bible is the changed form of the Injil. People have misunderstood the meaning of son of God. They started thinking to be begotten son. For example, if I tell, you know, young son, beta tumne achcha sawal pucha. You know, son, you have asked a very good question. If a son asked a question of the age of 10, son, you have asked a very good question. But if I say, you begotten son, you have asked a very good question, he may punch me. He will not say, oh, Zakir is elderly, he may punch me. That means I'm abusing his mother. If I say, my begotten son, he will get angry. I'm insinuating that I had sex with his mother. So son is innocent word, begotten son is not innocent. Same way, 
the sun is a very good word but people started misunderstanding so to remove this confusion that's the reason the quran does not use the word father as attribute to almighty god as well it's a good word so same way we refrain from using son of god because people start thinking that he's god no christian ever comes and tells me adam is son of god ephraim is son of god why bible says israel is son of god why don't you come and tell me because they are programmed no christian has come and told me that the bible says ephraim is son of god no why because they are programmed to believe that jesus christ is almighty god he never said he's almighty god and i told you earlier in my earlier answer he never claimed divinity that means you're insulting almighty god that means you're insulting jesus christ peace be upon him that's what i say if christian means a person who follows the teachings of jesus christ peace be upon him we muslims are more christian than the christian themselves you know why because if you read the bible jesus christ peace be upon him it's mentioned in the gospel of john he was circumcised on the eighth day we muslim that circumcised christian that circumcised jesus christ peace be upon him he said that you have to follow each and every law of the bible each and every commandment gospel of matthew chapter 5 verse number 17 to 20 if you break one law or jittle from the commandment you shall not enter kingdom of heaven if you go to the old testament clearly says in the book of leviticus chapter number 11 verse number 7 to 8 in the book of deuteronomy chapter number 14 verse number 8 in the book of isaiah chapter 65 verse number 2 to 5 that you shall not have pork muslims don't have pork but christians have pork so if christian means a person who follows the teachings of jesus christ peace be upon him we muslims are more christian than the christian themselves the bible says in the book of ephesians chapter number 5 verse number 18 that thou shall not have wine it's mentioned in the book of proverbs chapter number 20 verse number 1 wine is a mocker you should not have wine muslim don't have alcohol but the christians have alcohol further if you analyze there are various references i can give you so if christian means one who follows the teachings of jesus christ peace be upon him i say that i am more christian than the christian themselves if you become a muslim you are a more better practicing christian than the so called names of christians khayo <laughs> khayo سب سے پہلے میں آپ لوگوں سے ایک بات کرنا چاہوں گا کہ زیادہ تر لوگ جو نان مسلمس کو اسلامک پوائنٹ آف ویو سمجھانے کی کوشش کرتے ہیں وہ کافی ایکسٹریمز ورڈ یوز کرتے ہیں اور میں خیر کسی فرقے وغیرہ کے بارے میں بات نہیں کروں گا تو زیادہ تر وہ لوگ کافی ایکسٹریمسٹ کائنڈ آف اوپینین سے ایک دوسرے بندے کو ریچ کرتے ہیں جس کا امپیکٹ اچھا نہیں پڑتا یہاں تک کہ میں کوئی عالم نہیں ہوں نہ مجھے کچھ اتنا اندازہ نہیں ہے لیکن میرے سے جب کسی نے پوچھا اور کچھ معاملات دیکھے تو میں نے کیونکہ تھوڑا بہت پڑھا تھا بائبل بھی تو مجھے پتا تھا جینسز میں کیا فلاز ہیں جو کہ قرآن پاک میں ماشاء اللہ اس کو بہترین طریقے سے بتایا گیا جو آج تک سائنٹیفک ویلیوز بھی نہیں سائنٹیفک لاجیکل ویلیوز سے بھی وہ جو ہے نا پورا اترتا ہے اور ہر چیز سے پرفیکٹ ہے اور جینسز میں کیا غلطیاں تھیں اس کے بعد بہت سے ایسے معاملات تھے جو کہ مجھے پتا تھی جب آپ کس کو بائی فیکٹ ریچ کرتے ہو وین یو ریچ سم ون ود فیکٹس ود ایویڈنس دین دا امپیکٹ ول بی ویری پازیٹیو اینڈ ڈفرینٹ بٹ اٹس ریلیٹڈ آن موٹیویشن وائی پیپل بلیو ان اٹ اف دے جسٹ وانٹ ٹو بلیو ان سم تھنگ ان اینی تھنگ اینڈ دے فیل دیٹ دے بلیو ان رون تھنگ they will become angry in any way the, no one can become but you know no one can uh, know that they are believing in good things or wrong things because they have to first research and yes. only islam said that research but you know it's about uh, how they believe if they believe just to you know have some thinking in their mind hmm. Polina is saying that the people who are not Muslim who have not done Islam who have not done Islam who have not done religion who have not done some other point of views they reach them from this way they are hurt from their sentiments because they are the ones who believe in their religion and when they listen to something or when they don't reach out in a good way then they are the ones who have not done بجائے آپ کی طرف مائل ہونے کے آپ سے دور ہو جاتے ہیں آپ سے غصہ ہو جاتے ہیں ناراض ہوتے ہیں سینٹیمنٹس ہرٹ ہو جاتے ہیں دیر سینٹیمنٹس گیٹ ہرٹ یس بٹ اٹس ناٹ دیر از ٹو ڈیفرینس 
two different types. One is sentiments of people because they are right and not right, they are wrong. And one because uh, they know what is right and uh, they feel... How to say? The, they are just... they want to go up against it. No, I mean, for example, some people, when they hear something bad about Islam, they mm. feel that... Uh, they are just attacking on us. No, I mean, they feel that someone insult, insulting, insulting uh, a religion, insulting like... They are, they are feeling insulted, they are feeling that someone is going in against them. So that was the feeling inside no, this. No, there is two different uh, feelings. One is when you feel that someone insulting someone who you love, like uh, Hazrat Isa and other prophets and Allah. And one is when you just feel that someone insulting you. It's mm. two different. Insulting you and insulting your religious beliefs. But it is different because in first so, you become angry because of others and in others because of your... So what is your opinion about uh, this video and the dogs that, that Dr. Zakinak said? Mm. Uh, actually, I think it's very logical what he said, how he proves that Hazrat is not a, go a god and uh, why people shouldn't believe that he is a god. Mm. Um, also, I agree with him about that Muslims more Christians than Christians. Zakir Naik Naik talked about that if Muslim, if you talk about the love of the Lord, then Muslim is more Christian than Christian. If you are Christian, if you want to love the Lord of the Lord, then Muslim is more Christian than Christian. Se zyada Christian. That he said that Muslims are more Christian than Christians themselves if we are talking about loving Hazrat Isa. Yes. You know, Islam is more logical religion than, uh, how to say, Christianity. Than other religions? Yes. Uh, because uh, to believe in something, you should have some proofs that this is right. Mm -hmm. Even when you meet with someone, you will not believe him uh, just because you meet him and you know him. You have, you need to have some proofs. Yeah. And Islam have all the proofs that needed for the guidance. So, so it was the video of Dr. Zakir Naik and our reaction and uh, stay tuned, please. सब्सक्राइब करें बेल नोटिफिकेशन बटन ऑन करें क्योंकि नेक्स्ट वीडियोस आ रही हैं और हमारे साथ अटैच रहें और हमारे साथ इसी तरह हमें सपोर्ट करते रहें ताकि हमारा चैनल ग्रो करे और हम आपसे ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा वीडियोस देते रहें हैव अ गुड टाइम अल्लाह हाफिज़ लेट्स गो